Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Wolf in Time unboxing. Today is February's Wolf in Time box and it has some fragile stickers on the sides here. So I have no idea what it could be. I haven't had any spoilers, but I am super excited to see what's inside. Those of you who might have seen some of my previous Wolf in Time unboxings, you might already know all the specifics about the box. So I'll put a timestamp down below if you'd like to skip ahead and just dive right into the box. But if this is your first time clicking on my video and seeing one of these boxes, this is the Wolf in Time box, which is the smaller of two different size boxes offered by Wolf in Time. There's the Wolf in Time and the Luna Lux box. And this is the Wolf in Time, which has five items monthly and is $32 a month. Curated with five self-care and magical items to help you connect to nature, yourself, and the path of the moon. Expect things like rituals, oracle cards, crystals, original artwork, spiritual tools, holistic care, and more. This box is particularly helpful if you are somebody who wants to dive a little bit more into your spirituality, or if you're just somebody who's looking for more self-care items because they are things that you can incorporate into an already busy schedule, or there are rituals that you can use if you want to schedule some time to spend time with yourself, which honestly is so important. All of us need to literally schedule time in our schedules, like literally put it on your calendar to spend time with yourself because it is so important to just work on yourself and pay attention to how your body's feeling. And having rituals like this every single month is a really helpful way to incorporate that if you're somebody who struggles to do that on your own. I do have a coupon code still as well for 15% off your first box. It is xwolf15 and you can put that in on the website for 15% off your first subscription. I am so excited to dive into this. As always, I have my baby scissors. Oh my gosh, bright, happy green paper. Oops, you literally can't see that at all. Now you guys can actually see really bright, beautiful lime green paper. And it has some like purple flowers and a butterfly as the sticker. Ta-da! As always, there is an informational printout. This has everything that is in the box, how to use it, what it's made of, and then how it connects to this month's theme. So this month's theme, it says, deep in the forest, the soft moss cushions each step and the quiet of the trees tell us that there are animals watching. A fox, a deer, a bird. As we lift the ferns to find the little door, deep in the trunk to the fey realm, the crows start to caw and the squirrels scamper closer to you. For nature protects the way and fairies are all around. Our theme for this month is Fae Wisdom, and we will focus on reaching out to our Fae Guides while crafting with spring energy magic. That is so exciting. I love anything that is like the Fae reminds me of the coming of spring. My birthday is the first day of spring, so I get very excited for this season to come because it kind of marks the end of a long, long cold winter. There's another card on top here. And this says Fey Wisdom Door Ritual. That is really interesting. I've actually not heard of a door ritual. So here is the Fey Door Ritual in case you wanted to do this yourself. Usually when we have a ritual, everything that you need is typically in the box or something that's like a common item that you have in your house, like a pen or something like that. I'm super excited to do that. So the next item, Oh, this is so pretty. It's like a little fey door and it has some animals. It has a dragonfly, a fox, and a bluebird. And it's so pretty and just so naturey. And Kat does all of these watercolor paintings that get turned into prints for the boxes. She films herself creating the paintings on her YouTube channel and I'll link that down below as well. She literally shows how she transforms a paper into this, which is so incredible. I love her process. She makes a ritual out of the process of painting. It's really beautiful to see the painting come together because it really does amaze me because if I was going to try and attempt to do something like this, I would be like drawing, trying to find an eraser, like just like trying so hard to like make it look good. And I know I would get deterred along the way and just the flow in her creating this is what amazed me because you can see the time lapse and just literally her making it, which she makes it look so easy, but so amazing. So definitely check out her page if you'd like to see this picture come to life because it makes you connect to the images a lot more when you get to see them being made. Guarding the Sheet is an original watercolor painting created for the intention of nature and animal protection. 
The fox looks up into the rays of the sun peeking through the branches while the bird stays watch at the door of the she. Within the trunk is a portal to the other realm and holds the key to the life of the fae. A dragonfly hovers in a guardian aura making sure the spirit messages are delivered and the forest hides the little door with the cover of the fern. You can see this artwork come together on the YouTube channel Wolf in Time and it is really amazing to see Kat's process and the ritual she has when making these art pieces. Oh my gosh, what do we have here? So I have some of these incense. I, use, I love the incense that comes in the boxes. This one smells very like earthy and like greeny. And it, maybe it's because there's green here, but it smells green. If I had to associate this smell with a color, it'd be green. Oh my gosh, is this a little door? This is so cute. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. We have this little bag. And there's a door in it and I see a key and a tea light candle and a butterfly. I'm gonna take them all out though. So here's the door. Look, you can see me through it. You can you imagine seeing my eye through that window? That's really creepy. And there's a tea candle, a tea light candle. There's this adorable little key charm and it has this little veil on it. So you could literally turn this into a necklace if you wanted to after you do your door ritual, you can like keep this with you. Oh, are these paints? Oh, cute, we have paint. That's so funny, I was thinking, cause I I have watercolor paint, but I don't have like paint that I think you can use on wood. So I was thinking, I was like, maybe I'll just use my Sharpies, but we have paint, that's so, so helpful. So you can use these to decorate your door. I love that so much. You can paint it, you can just color on it, you could put glitter. There's so many different things that you can do with this door to make it your own and stick it right next to a tree. That is so sweet. So that is the first item in the box that has to do with the ritual. In your little green bag holds a special wooden door, which is one of four designs, a handcrafted wooden butterfly button, a little key charm, and a tea light for your flower candle holder. You also get a full color crafting paint set with paint brushes to help you decorate your new fey door you'll be making for your ritual. It can also be added to your fae garden, your fae altar, or any nature place when you want to connect to the fairy world. Instructions come on your ritual scroll along with creative ideas and a special spell and two fae garden incense sticks for cleansing and meditation. Next, what do we have here? Ooh, is this a little lotus? It looks like a lotus. It looks like a, a lotus flower opening up. Let me show you guys. That's what it looks like. And there's a piece of paper inside I'm just gonna take out. It's hand painted and was made in Thailand. That is so pretty. Look at all the glitter. Oh my God, I love that. Is this for the tea light? Let me figure out what this one is for. Handmade glass flower candle holder. It looks so magical. Like I could just imagine a little fairy sitting right inside of this. It is so pretty. I got the pink and yellow or like a gold and it's all sparkly. Oh, that's so pretty and the colors are so springy. You have one of four different colors of a handcrafted and hand painted glass flower. It comes in pink, purple, red, and blue and when they are lit with a the candle, they sparkle and glow with the aura of fey magic. It is used in your included ritual and is a perfect addition to your fey altar or meditation space. Next. Oh, is this a butterfly? Oh my God, this is beautiful. Oh, holy crap, guys. So I didn't even take it out yet. I just see it in here, but this is like a moth, but it has, oh my gosh. It has like branches on it. I feel like just alone, the moth would have been gorgeous, but the fact that it has this like intricate setting on the side, that is absolutely stunning. I'm gonna take this off and wear this the rest of the video because this is gorgeous. I love it. Oh my God, it's so like magical with this moth and I love moths. For those of you who don't know, which I don't really think I talk about it that much, but I do have a small collection of like moths in shadow boxes. I just love the way they look every time I go to this fair that I go to every year, I get another moth to put on my wall and I love it so much. So this is such a perfect piece for me. I love it so much. This alone is 
worth $32, honestly. Like, I'm obsessed with this. This unique piece of jewelry reminds me of a necklace the Fae would wear with its branches reaching upon the chain that stretch up like the antlers of a buck and a bold lunar moth detailed with all of the moon's phases. It glows silver like the moonlight and its large wings could be transformed into the Fae itself. It is silver plated alloy with adjustable length. And finally, we have the crystals for this month. Ooh, these are cool. I think it said, cause I did see when I held up the um, ritual that we needed some praiseolite. So I think that is what these are, which praiseolite is green amethyst. So I have three of those that are kind of in like these like raw points. Praiseolite, also known as green amethyst, is a member of the quartz family and its name derives from the Greek word meaning leek for its leek green color. This crystal starts out as a purple amethyst, but is heated by volcanic thermal activity to the green color it is mined as, or artificially created by heat kiln. Your shards were mined from Brazil, but can also be found in Arizona. It assists you in grounding so that you can become closer to the earth, and helps you communicate with fairy folk, and in healing shamanic journey. It helps you awaken the wisdom within, learn more from nature, and love yourself more through authentic self-acceptance. Use your shards in the provided ritual with your crystal grid or in your own meditation practice. And that was everything in this month's Wolf and Time box. I am so in love with everything in this box. I love the theme. I love everything that was included, especially this necklace. And that candle holder was gorgeous. And even the ritual for this month, I feel like is so fun and it really connects to your inner child. Like having crafts like that is sometimes so nice. I just recently started like coloring in a coloring book to try to help with that like, I don't know, inner child, like finding that play that I feel like we all can benefit from. So I love the idea of having something that is like a craft that is a part of a ritual because I don't know, I just think it's really nice for, for helping heal that inner child and also having a ritual that is a little bit more hands-on. So let me know what you guys thought of this month's box. Do you connect with the Fae? Is this something that you would be interested in? How excited are you for spring? Because I know I am so excited for it. I can't wait. <laughs> We've had a little bit of like warm weather here and there, which is like not typical for February, especially yesterday. Yesterday was absolutely beautiful. It was like 60 degrees. I had my door open because it was so nice. And then today was like back to being like 25 degrees. So I don't know what's going on with our environment, guys. It's crazy. But I am excited for the warm weather to come back for realties this time and for it to be an appropriate time for it to come back. So I'm just looking forward to it. And this box definitely helped connect me to that amazing, magical, beautiful springtime energy. So that is it for today's video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.